What I did earlier was uh, burn some sweet grass. And um, the reason I did that is because uh, anytime I talk about Sand Creek Massacre, the Sand Creek Massacre, it's a hard thing to talk about. It's, uh, it's a horrible, it's a horrible thing. Uh, who heard about the uh, uh, Columbine shooting before they knew about Sand Creek Massacre? Uh, everybody heard about the, uh, the Columbine. Everybody knew about Columbine. And the news was reporting that it was the worst massacre in Colorado history. And I was sitting at home and I would say, you know what, that's not true. Sand Creek, the Sand Creek Massacre was the worst massacre in Colorado history. And um, this year is the 150th anniversary of war remembrance. Um, so kind of, sometimes I don't know, you know how to recognize it. I guess 150 years ago is what happened. Yeah. And then in 1999, you know, we decided to do something about it for ourselves, to try to heal from what had happened down there. So my uncle, on the video, if you saw the video, I mean, the video that we, they showed earlier, he was the guy that was singing at the end. His name is Lee Lonebear. And it was his idea to have a healing run and try to heal from what had happened down at Sand Creek. Myself, I never, I never was taught Sand Creek in school. After I got out of high school, I moved here to Colorado, and then I heard about the Sand Creek Massacre and some, some brothers trying to take care of the massacre site that was on private land down in southeastern Colorado. And, and then in 1999, we started the Healing Run. And, uh, and we started it for ourselves. We started it because we wanted to heal ourselves as Native people. Because nobody's ever talked to it, nobody's ever, nobody's ever talked about it, nobody's ever dealt with it. So in 1999, we started the healing run, and uh, we went for about four or five years without any non-Native people participating, because we wanted to heal for ourselves. And um, before I forget, too, there's also Nick, Nick was back here, he's been running with the healing run for quite a while. There's uh, Jared been running. Quite a few people have been running in the healing run now for quite a while. But, um, and then um, about six years after that we started it, we opened it up to the public. Because we realized that there's other people that need to appeal from this as well. There's non native people. The soldiers that participated in the massacre they settled in that area, so they have ranches in that area down there. The state of Colorado, the city of Denver needs healing. So we opened it up, okay? To, and um, this year, the governor of uh, the state of Colorado, John Hickenlooper, created this Santa Creek Massacre Commemoration Commission to remember what had happened down there 150 years ago. So this evening I went to a commission meeting up at the fort and uh, I got an updated uh, agenda list here. And uh, what I want to share with you is uh, some pictures, if I can. Last year I took some pictures of the healing road and I kind of want to show you uh, the site down there in southeastern Colorado. So this is the site, and they're standing up on the little ridge here that kind of looks down into the Sand Creek. The Sand Creek kind of bends a, a little bend right there, right over the edge there, and that's where they attacked him. And it, and it goes up, um, that's looking out east. So if you look, if you go up north there, it, the massacre was about four or five miles long, okay? So it just went all the way out north there. So they were trying to escape, you know. Uh, and what we're doing here is uh, every year we go down there and we uh, we have a sunrise ceremony and we pray and we pray for uh, you know uh, for the Creator. We call uh, other people call him God. We call him the Creator. Or we, in our language, Mahaya. Uh, uh, 
Before I go any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Bill Tarbo, I am Tatista. That's sort of a language for ourselves. We're Cheyenne, no more better known as Cheyenne. And um, my grandfather moved here in the 1950s to Denver. Uh, and uh, 1950s, they, I looked at it as the Relocation Act, but actually it was the Termination Act. Okay? They were trying to terminate reservations. Okay, to take away the rest of the land that Native people had. Okay? And then uh, what they did is they had Native people from these rural areas that were living close to the reservation, their own reservation, they tried to bring them to the city to find the jobs and so forth. My grandfather moved here back to this area in the 1950s. So I would come here in the, in the summertime and visit him and, uh, and so forth. And I never, he never talked about Santa Cruz. The elders never talked about Santa Cruz. And, uh, you know, a long time after I heard about it, I had a hard time, you know, talking about it, dealing, dealing with it. I got, I got angry. I got sad. I had all kinds of emotions. Because this land here, all this land here belonged to us. And I, I still consider it my land. I, I like to say we're just leasing, you know. But, uh, so if you go through the fo photos here, uh, this is a large group, about maybe uh, 30, 40 runners last year. This is the 2000, uh, or it was the uh, 15th annual uh, Sacred Kilo Run. So go ahead and go to the other photos. And what they're doing is uh, they're, they're saying a, a prayer and they're um, you know, blessing everybody, blessing the runners. And, go ahead and, go ahead. and uh, as you can see, there's uh, you know little kids all the way up to you know elders out there that are participating. And uh, what I'd like to I'd like to share in a little bit through the agenda and I'll share ways that you guys can register if you guys want to participate. Um, one of the, the great stories that came out of Sand Creek is uh, the ripple effect that when we decided to, to, to have this healing run and people participating, other people participating, different uh, nationalities, different uh, groups of people, they took this idea, the ripple effect of um, like a, a rock dropping in into a, a lake or something, you see the ripples kind of, uh, Sand Creek is kind of like that, the idea of Sand Creek, uh, because the Native people weren't the only people that experienced, uh, you know, uh, massacres or uh, treatment like this. So a lot of the people that participated by the NIP took this idea back to the community and started, uh, you know, runs for their own community, to help their own community, too. And, uh, and there's other folks as well, too, take it back home to, you know, to where they live. So, but, uh, go ahead and keep on going through it. But, uh, we, it takes, uh, it's about 270, almost 300 miles from, from Santa Cruz, I believe it is. And, um, so it takes us about four days, three to four days, and, uh, and it's done in relays. Uh, so, uh, what we do is, uh, the National Park Service is managing the area right now, and they're uh, working on a general management plan on how they want to, uh, uh, you know, manage the area. Because if you, if you think about the area, uh, you know, it was just a ranch land way back then, but there's still, there's still water plants out there, okay? There's still things out there uh, that, you know, are sacred to us. It's, it's, a, it's a hollow ground. But this is what it looks like. It's rural, southeastern Colorado. It's just flat. It's pretty much all flat. And uh, this is the road that's coming from Sand Creek. There's a dirt road that, uh, that leads out to Sand Creek. And it comes, we're taking this road into, there's a little community called Eads. And what we do is run to Eads and then make our way up here to Colorado. So, uh, and, and they have, uh, this year, they're going to have uh, quite a few runners because it's 150th, but they'll, they'll have, uh, they're expecting 200 runners. Okay, what I, what I wanted to do is uh, share with you real quick is the agenda. This year's event, or this year's uh, the 16th Daniel Sacred Master Spiritual Healing Run Block. It's going to be from November 29th to December 3rd. And uh, this year we had a, uh, a tribal member, Steve Grady Senior, pass away, so this year's event is for him. But on Saturday, November 29th, everybody's welcome to come down to the Santa Cruz Massacre site. We're going to have um, a sunrise ceremony, and then there's going to be quite a few different uh, events happening throughout um, the area down there. 
And then on Sunday, November 30th, is when the actual healing run's going to start. And, um, and then on Monday, December 1st, they'll keep on making their way up here. They'll probably be around Lyman someplace. And then um, on Thursday, on Tuesday, December 2nd, um, they'll make it here to Denver. And that evening, we'll have a candlelight vigil at 6 p.m. at the uh, Denver Art Museum, the Bill Sculpture. And then on uh, Wednesday, December 3rd, um, they'll do a ceremony at uh, Riverside Cemetery, which is north of downtown Denver. And um, it's, a, it's a ceremony to honor Captain Silas Sewell and Joseph Kramer. And then they'll make their way to 15th and Arapahoe. 15th and Arapahoe was where, the site, where Silas Sewell was assassinated. And, um, and then they'll walk from there to the State Capitol building. And then at the State Capitol building, they'll have the, uh, the governor there and then get, have other speakers, tribal speakers as well, too. But uh, there was one picture, there was a, some orbs on the you know, folks, but I had a weird experience the other night. I took some folks over to the 15th and Arapahoe where Silas Sewell was assassinated, and that's on Skyline Park if anybody's ever been there. But we put up a plaque there for Silas Sewell in front of him, and when we took a picture of my buddies, there was a couple of boards right next to him, and then we said, hey, wow, that's weird. Let's take a picture again. And we took a picture again, and it wasn't there. So, okay. um, so this is the um, Riverside Cemetery. This is where Simon Sewell is buried. And uh, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of you know, these pictures and so forth, of uh, you know, what to expect if you guys come on out. So I want you guys to participate if you if you, you know, have the time. So. <coughs> Let's go to that, uh, that website. Uh, if you have time, um, that website, there's a, there's a website that uh, um, the state. This website here, if you scroll down a little bit, there's a registration. You guys got to see the website. It's, it's, it's there. But uh, I have some agendas um, for the for the 16th day. I put them up here if anybody wants to. So thank you guys. <coughs> 